Here's the top tips when looking at a property. <laughs> to my new clients. I'm so excited. They seem like pretty cool people. And we just saw our first house, which was like perfect. And it's so funny because I've had two clients already in my past that the first house that we showed them, they loved, they wrote an offer and it got accepted. So maybe that's gonna be my thing. I'll show you one house and we'll get our offer accepted the first time. No guarantees. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, we just saw a house in Antioch and it's a beautiful property. The owners have maintained it really, really well. Um, it's pretty much exactly what my clients are looking for. Maybe the master bath is just a little too small and it has some large trees in the back that would create some additional maintenance costs. But other than that, um, it's really beautiful. Listed at 595 and it'll definitely go above that price point, um, but hopefully not by too much. So where are we going now? Brentwood. This house is newer. Well, it was built in 95, but it looks really, you know, like track home newish outside compared to a lot of the other properties that we've been seeing lately out there. There's no disclosures or reports on it or anything, so we're just sort of going into it blind. I can guarantee you that they will like it, but they will not love it as much as this past one that we just saw. Not too much. See, like it goes well with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did a good job on the kitchen. I love this. I love like having the sink in front of a window. Yeah, it just doesn't feel you don't so comfortable. Feel so like, oh, you're doing this shit. Yeah, exactly. But it's good. We're gonna get a couple of showings out of the way so they can start to figure out what they like and don't like, and uh, go from there. Christian had a client the other day that he was meeting for the first time at a listing, and she was like, "Oh, what should I wear?" And Christian was like, "Well, you can wear whatever you want. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's just me." She's like, "Oh, we're not meeting the listing agent there," and he's like, "Oh, no, like." You only meet the listing agent on properties like that are in the, you know, high millions or if there's a seller that is wanting to be there. Um, I think it'll be good for people to see, like it doesn't have to be so stuffy and so formal. Um, it's nice, to, it's like a behind the scenes thing, a little sneak peek of how showings go. And everybody loves looking at homes. I always run into people that are like, oh, I love looking at property or I love looking at houses just so they can see what they do with their interior or really because they like to look at them. I'm excited. The two showings today were a great use of time. We got to see a beautifully well-maintained, updated, oh, wrong way, updated property um, in Antioch. And then we also saw a newer home that wasn't as well maintained and updated in Brentwood. And I think that they still found the benefit in the smaller home that's updated and well maintained. First, the property that is gonna need a lot of work probably in the next five years. If that offer gets accepted, that would be dope because then that means this house hunter's deal is really working out. <laughs>